Hey guys, Brady here, and I just saw X-Men Apocalypse. So, basically, this is about the X-Men. Uh, this is the third installment of the prequel trilogy, I guess. And, um, basically, uh, the school, like, the Charles Xavier school gets blown up. And, um, he gets taken by Apocalypse. And, um, he, uh... What's it called? And, um... What's it called? Eric Manito is, uh... Is, like, on Apocalypse's uh, side. And, um... So, yeah. Basically, he's part of the, like, four... The uh, four horsemen or whatever's called of the Apocalypse. I don't know. I'm not a uh, Bible person or a comic book reader. So, um... Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, this movie is actually really good. I don't. I'm gonna. I agree with Chris Tuckman on this. I do not agree with um, Rotten Tomatoes as usual. Uh, Rot Chris Tuckman, who usually agrees with Rotten Tomatoes, like I don't see uh, why Rotten Tomatoes didn't like this movie. I will admit there are some pacing issue issues, mainly the beginning of the movie, like the first hour or so. It's like, all right, come on, get to the next scene. But I'm not gonna let that. Mo I'm not gonna let that bother me because. The, the rest of the movie is fucking awesome. It's a, it's a fantastic looking movie. Um, you know how in the beginning of every X-Men movie they have like a monologue. Or not a monologue, and uh, like an epilogue kind of thing. Or pro prologue? Epilogue? Prologue? Epilogue's at the end. A prologue. And then it shows like the X-Men logo. The way they do the X-Men logo in this movie is probably the best one in the series. Because it... It, it it's hard to explain what it is. It, they did in like an Egyptian style, and it was pretty cool to see. I love that. Um, what's it called? Eric Lenshaw works at this um, construction place or whatever. That that's what it looked like um, in Poland. Yeah, uh, he has a daughter and a wife now. This is. This is sorry. I'm going out of order in this in the apply, but this is just a uh, good looking movie. Like when I like Brian Singer's directing style. He knows how to make a he knows how to make a great looking uh, X Men movie. Like I I love X Men Two. I love X Men. I love Days of Future Past, and and I love I also really love this movie. Um, and they're uh, all all four of the movies that he directed from the X Men series. All four of them were, were like really good. Uh, this one is probably the longest in the X Men series. This is two hours and twenty four minutes or twenty seven minutes. I don't know. It keeps fluctuating the time on uh, IMDb and Google and all that other shit. But uh, it's about two and a half hours long, around there, a little less than two and a half hours. But anyway, um, I want to give too much away, but uh. I give X-Men Apocalypse five stars out of five. Um, this is the first movie, this is actually the first movie I've seen since Captain America Civil War. I've been to the movies lately, so I need to get back into seeing movies. I was supposed to see Nice Guys yesterday, but didn't get the time. 